to use your own voice in AI music. Hello everyone and welcome back. So if you want to use your own voice in music, then you can use Controller Voice for this and Controller Voice has simplified this. So you can convert any popular song, so whether that's Taylor Swift or Frank Sinatra, you can listen to your own voice singing that song. And this can be really great for any of your heartfelt songs, like a song from your first date, a song from your wedding, or anything else. To get started, you simply head on over into controller.xyz. Once you do that, click on get started for free and you can proceed with using one of their royalty free voices or click on my voices. From here, you're going to create your own voice and you have two options. You can record and upload voice samples or you can sing without limits. Your AI voice is going to be ready for any project, but I'm going to first sign up to create our voice and signing up is very quick and easy. You can either continue with Google or you can continue with your email address. I'm just going to be doing a quick and easy Google sign up. And once you do that, you're just going to continue on. And once this happens, you're just going to wait. And as your account sign up is completed, you're just going to proceed and then click on upgrade to create a voice. Now you have monthly plans and yearly plans, and you can upgrade to the basic to start with your voice clone. So once you click on upgrade, you're just going to fill in your details and then proceed. Now, once you have proceeded with your subscription, you're just going to proceed on and you're going to proceed with creating your own voice clone. Now, there are some tips and tricks that are recommended whenever you're creating your own voice. So when you're creating a voice, it's best if you record different styles of your voice, whether that is going to be high pitch, low pitch. If you want your songs that are, you know, using your voice to have a certain style or a certain type, you can utilize all of those instructions and include them whenever you're training your AI voice clone. So if you want yourself to sound a bit mature, then you can keep a deeper set of your voice. You can speak like this. Singing in this is really nice as well for it to be able to gauge the way that you sound. You can also scream into your microphone so that it is able to better understand and just make a better clone of your voice. So I'm just going to be waiting a couple of seconds. And once we do that, we're going to name our voice. We're just going to name this Mitch, and we can drag and drop our files over here. Keep in mind, this works with singing, rapping, speaking. It works with iPhone memos, EQ, like compression, studio, or bedroom vocals. It does not work with layered voices, reverbs, echoes, modulations, or audios with headphone leaks or instruments. So we're going to browse our files over here, and I'm just going to have to record a quick sample to be able to create our clone voice memo. So I'm just going to go into voice memos over here and then we can proceed with recording our voice memo and you're just going to speak as you normally would and you're just going to keep on recording. You can speak in a higher tone and then in a lower tone just so you're able to have this really nice gauged estimation of your voice. Once you start recording your voice memos, you can easily put them into your notes and then from your notes, you're going to be able to drag and drop these into these files over here. So just like so, you can upload your files and I'm just going to be uploading my files here. So I'm just uploading my memos and I'm just going to click on add files so that I am able to add more files here. And for some reason, it is not letting me add this file. So I'm just going to have to re-download this and I'm just going to complete my 10 minutes. Now, right now I have uploaded some of our voices and this is a nine minute recording of my voice. So once this has been completely processed, then we can proceed into our next step where we're going to, going to click on create voice. We're going to click on upgrade and this is our current plan. So we're going to have to upgrade into, we're going to have to train one custom voice model, train three custom voice models. Okay, so we are going to have to upgrade to one of the plus plans so our voices are just being processed and once the processing is complete we're just going to move on to our next step which is just going to be to create our voice so i'm just going to click on create voice and i click on agree and generate now 
Once we do that, our vocals will be uploaded. Once our vocals are uploaded, this can take up to three hours and you will be notified via email. Once you are notified via email, you are going to proceed and then you can go into song generation and this is going to be your artist name. Let's say we're just going to go with Midge here. And then what you can do is that you can do a few easy steps where you can write the lyrics, determine the music style, and you can add your vocal style, which will be just selecting your own vocal voice. You can also go into voice swap. So you can click on select voice or instrument, and you can simply select your voice and then drag and drop your input audio. This can be from any track. This can be your raw vocals with no effect. You can use this for choirs. If you are going to use this for choirs or harmonies, use each voice separately. And then you can swap the voice uh, and you can turn your vocals into any voice or instrument. You can also split the stems. So you can separate any song into individual music elements. You even have a style sampler where you can use vocal only or a choir. So you can use your vocal reference and then you can type in the lyrics you want in your new track and then combine those two things together. You can select your audio reference, which is going to be you, and then you can add your own lyrics as well. And in the meanwhile, your voice is going to be processed. Now you can click on blend voices over here and blend different voices together, whether that is your own voice and the voice of another singer or musician, or you have different voices that you want to combine. You easily have the ability to combine voices to form a brand new one. And Control of Voice gives you full liberty where you can sing in any language and generate AI choirs. You have the ability to give your voice superpowers and even combine your own voice with an AI generated voice. Now their billing starts at $12 for their plus plan and $30 for their creator plan. You can generate upwards of 100 songs or 166 minutes of voice swaps, access all tools and access 100 premium royalty free voices and train your own custom voice as well. You can use custom voices with models shared with you and on their creator plan for $30, you have the ability to get started with access to all tools, full access to 180 premium royalty free voices and share all songs and voices as well. Now, you also have the ability if, uh, to get started with their professional plan and you do have to contact them for their more enterprise plans or professional plans. And this is how you can get started on Control of Voice to create your own voice clone and sing any song with your own voice. So that was it for today. I hope you guys found this video helpful. If you found them helpful, make sure to share them with someone you might think that may need these. Share them with your friends, with your family, with your cousins, and share them with any business partners that you might have and it might help you guys a lot to know all of these techniques and to follow along and make sure to subscribe to our youtube channel and check out other videos and if you feel like some other video might be helpful to someone else make sure to share our videos with your friends and family as well and if you find that there is something missing i will try to figure out a way to integrate more accurate content according to your needs onto the channel so make Make sure to tell me if you find anything missing so that was it for today make sure to leave a like and subscribe to the youtube channel and i will catch you guys in the next video